Hi, dear brothers in the Lord. This is your brother Richard Asamoah Jemai, Evangelist Short. I'm here with brother Gideon. He the, the the cameraman, and we are standing in front of the museum where they bury people. There are those rich people who have been buried in a stone, like uh, what do they call it? A stone like a shelf, whereby they put people in the uh, in the wall. So if you're a rich man and you want to bury different, they just send you to this museum. And as you could see around us, this is a very huge portion of land. And this land is not invested for anything, but this land is specifically for people that have died and been buried. So dear brothers, we are here just to tell you that you need to humble yourself if you are a living because the Bible said the livings they know that they will die but the dead do not know that they will die because they already they are dead and our words to you in Christ is to inspire you that a day is coming that you will be like one of these people so if you are on this earth all that we are telling you is to you need to humble yourself dear brothers look around us there are so many people that have died and gone with different titles with different position and with different certification but we are here to advise you that the end of our lord jesus christ is near we are here to advise you that if you do not know jesus and you have accumulated yourself with something which is far different from the word of god we are here to inspire you that you need to accept jesus christ as your lord and personal savior because there are so many things that we can predict to ourselves but the only thing that we can never predict to ourselves is the day that we will live on this earth and be buried so dear brethren look around us this whole portion of land is full of people dead peoples so we are here to advise you dear brethren that as the bible say in the book of psalms when you read the book of psalms 89 the bible say who is a man who is able to release themselves from the power of death there is no man on this earth that could ever release themselves from the power of, of, of death only jesus christ have the power to resurrect us when we die because the bible says jesus christ resurrected the uh, last off from the dead when he died for three good days the same thing applies to we the living so as if if you have had opportunity to live tonight or this afternoon we're here to advise you that you need to accept jesus christ as your lord and personal savior because no matter how it is you can tell yourself to acquire the whole wealth of this earth but there's one thing that does not belong to you which is the the place of cemetery this place does not belong to one specific person but it belongs to us all the bible say a man dies like a flow of water one day we shall all die and be buried but what is ahead of us to face the judgment of God. We are here to advise you that if you are living on this earth, you need to seek for the humiliation of God. You need to humble yourself. Dear brethren, no matter how beautiful you are, because the Bible says, a favor is a deceit. What charming is what? It's fading away. But the only thing that you need to work, you need to, I mean, focus on is to seek God with, all, with your whole heart. Look at around us. Look at the whole place is full of dead people. The people that have been buried is more than the living ones. Dear brethren, who are you? If you are occult, we are here to advise you that occultic spirit could never help your life. If you are fetish priest, we are here to advise you the only one that can save your soul is Jesus Christ. If you are a fetish priest and you think you can help people to gain money, you can help people to become rich, you are deceiving your own self because money could never buy or money could ever save you from the wrath of God to come look around us there are so many people with different positions some of them were doctors some of them were nurses so the nurses who are helping the young ladies to uh, be get rid of the affairs doing abortion there are some doctors somewhere else who are killing innocent people but we are here to advise you that death does not belong to one person because it is it, it is our destiny for each and every man to experience death but what is ahead of of us is the judgment of God look around us doctors nurses lawyers so the lawyers we are here to advise you we are here to advise you being a lawyer that you need to seek for the the, the, the presence of God go to the, the house of God and worship the Lord from your sincere heart if you are a deacon we are here to advise you a preacher's bishop we are here to advise you that the end of God is ahead so look around us 
these dead people were once enjoying like we the living but now they are not part of us they have died and gone so who are we we need to humble ourselves and seek for the favor of God this is the end time dear brothers we need to seek for the work the repentance because the hour of God is at hand who are we our money could never save us who are we our righteousness and our wealth could never save us dear mothers dear friend dear you need to seek for what repentance of God so now we are going around we just want you to see something that if you are a man this is a specific place for you you don't have to fight over land if you are living the specific place that you need to fight for is this place because this place does not belong to any man it belongs to X all so dear brethren if there is something which belongs to Satan you need to get rid of it and allow the Spirit of God to walk you through allow the Spirit of God to seek you through seek for the knowledge and the visions of God dear brethren